Welcome back to the 45th Today We Review. It is for this week's Harry Movie Club, where we are watching the movie Doomsday from 2008. Doomsday is a very different film. I did like it. I'm still not sure, though, overall, what my final thoughts are about it. Uh, it's just a very different film. I feel like there were parts that could have definitely been cut out of it, and it caused it to go on a little long, and that just might be what's causing a little difficulty in making a final decision on it. But uh, quickly, it is a good film, and it does have lots of action. There's a lot of gore in it. It's directed by the same person that did Dog Soldiers, which we had watched last week for Harry Movie Club. And this movie, Doomsday, does have some of the same actors, which I've never seen elsewhere, except for in Dog Soldiers. There's Emma Cleesby. She plays Catherine Sinclair at the beginning. She's the mother of Eden Sinclair. Eden Sinclair is really the film's main protagonist. Well, once we go into the future, I think it's like three decades or so. In the beginning, Eden somehow loses her eye when she's young. Uh, it looks like maybe shrapnel from the car when her mother is trying to escape across the border when the quarantine zone is being put up around Scotland. It is funny that Mr. Herbert chose this, especially right after the uh, referendum, considering this is uh, Scotland getting locked up and then Britain has to go into Scotland to try to get the cure for it. It being a virus that had wiped out pretty much all of Scotland, the Reaper virus, they had thought they'd contained it and quarantined it off in Scotland, and then it looks like in the three decades in the future, we see a drug raid happening, and then they find a room full of people that look like they have the Reaper virus. At this point, there's been the government holding on to the secret that for three years they've seen some survivors in Scotland. So it's now up to Eden to take a team over into Scotland and get the cure. And Scotland is definitely different. There's pretty much two parts. Uh, one part is controlled by Saul, who is in Dog Soldiers. Also, he is the camper at the beginning that you think is going to get lucky and then the werewolf takes him out. And that is the actor Craig Conway. Also from Dog Soldiers, there's Sean Pertwee, who was Sergeant Dog Soldiers. Dog Soldiers, I didn't have time to do a review. It's a good film, though, as well. And then the other portion of Scotland is like a medieval portion, and they even go back to riding horseback and having chainmail. It was real weird. And Cain is really the leader of all of it, all of Scotland now, because he's been telling Saul and the rest of the underlings that there's nothing outside of the wall, which I don't understand why they believe that unless everyone that was that survived has now died except for Cain because the older people would know that they're the ones that are supposed to be not here and outside the walls really the world continues so I don't know why everyone believed him but they did I do enjoy the film talking about it more I'd say it probably deserves another watch I would say keep at this point give it another watch uh, just because it's really different the parts where we are really seeing in depth with like the underground and Saul's little group I think could have been shortened or left out pretty much because the movie is uh, almost two hours and I think like 20 minutes too long I did enjoy it though like I said it is a keep this is for Harry Movie Club this week if you wanna see the other responses the annotation of course above like always Mr. Harry Britt is the channel where that happens at he's a very nice fella if you want to reach me, you can do so in the comments below. On Twitter, it's MadLFan. You can use hashtag TodayWeReview for movies and TV shows. And then hashtag TodayWePlay for video games. Thanks again for watching. Come back soon.